up to the UFC 264 presser inside the T-Mobile Arena, where in just 48 hours, one of the biggest combat sporting events of the year goes down right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. The UFC 264 trilogy will put an exclamation mark on one of the greatest trilogies in UFC history and ultimately help shape each man's respective legacy. Introducing first, the sport's biggest superstar, the Irish Supernova, who's captured titles in two weight classes and elevated the sport of mixed martial arts to new heights. This is the notorious Conor McGregor. the same but with everything that's around it does the challenge change for you in this one because of this no nah, not not anymore I am for me the aura is not not there anymore very dangerous fighter sitting right here for sure no doubt but I see a man you know you guys in the crowd cheer it up have fun but I see a man here in front of me that I've I defeated and I know I can defeat again and Dustin, in the cage after that last one, I mean, you know, you were still in the cage and you were already saying trilogy. We got to do this again. We got to do this again. Obviously, it's a huge money fight. But at that moment, when you're still in there, what's going through your head? Is it this is going to be the biggest paycheck I'll ever cash or was there something else about it? It was I knew this was next. Like I, as soon as I got to my hotel room that night, I knew this was next. 
I've kind of been preparing for this fight since that fight ended. Yeah. And all the discussion, I know you've heard it, low kicks, calf kicks, low kicks, calf kicks. When you hear that, do you say, well, yeah, I executed perfectly, or do you say, why are people not giving me credit for everything else I did in that fight? You know, the calf kicks led to shots that, that hands that opened up shots, but that's MMA. There's a lot of different moving parts. That's what it is, you know. If it's not calf kicks, it'll be something else, takedowns or boxing that opens up calf kicks. I can't walk like a dog in that octagon on Saturday night. I guess lastly for me, Dustin, I mean, this is obviously different. It was genuinely last time. It's getting kind of ugly again. Is this getting personal for you at this point? No, nah, straight business, man. This is a... Uh... You're only a little bitch. Your wife is your husband. You're only a little bitch of a thing, a silly little hillbilly. Joe Lee's wife. Joe Lee's wife. Joe Lee's wife. Joe Lee's wife. You little bitch of a thing. You used to be a lot better than that, man. The trash talk was a lot better than that. Fucking weak. Thanks, Dustin. Connor, I want to ask you to say, Connor, throughout your career, when something has gone wrong, you've always evaluated it spot on and made the corrections. Right afterwards, you really did point to those low kicks and said how, how you know, dangerous those was. But in the time since, have you seen other issues or other challenges that he presents to you? Is that really all that you need to address here? This is my bread and butter. This is what, you know, wakes me up in the morning with fire in my belly. You know, uh, errors to correct, tactics to prepare for. So I've had a great camp, a great focus on I'm the opponent, on the kicks skills. What? I'm throwing dick kicks this time. Yeah, shoot your mouth, you little fool. I'm going to dance on your head. Hey, Connor, it's, it's clear that the gentlemanly Connor that was in Abu Dhabi is not here this time around. And, and Dustin's admitted, in fight number one, you got in his head. As you're sitting there right now, do you feel that you've been able to get into his head or under his skin again? I'm going to go through his head, put holes in them, and take it off his shoulders. That's the goal here. He's done here. This is it for him. This is the end of the road. Even after that last fight, oh, I don't love this anymore. I don't love doing this. He knew what was coming. He knew the smacks he took. So it's on now. Saturday night, he's getting walked around that octagon like a dog and put to sleep. Hey, Connor, just, just one last one for you. I mean, we think about all the things that you've accomplished in your career. I mean, there's certainly there's not a title on the line in this one, but what would a win in this trilogy series mean for you? What, what would this mean as part of your legacy? It's beautiful. Another addition, another feather to the cap. It's what I love to do. I love to come in here, you know, defy the odds, do the unthinkable, and, and put on a show. Thank you, Connor. And Dana, just one quick one for you. I know that uh, you were teasing some big numbers and big trends, and, and we're excited about it. As we sit right here, what can you tell us about the status of this pay-per-view and, and where you expect it to end up all well, time? I was saying it's the most pre-buys we've ever had for any fight. So, you know, we expect big numbers to come in that night. If you know you're going to be home on Saturday night and you know you're going to watch the fight, buy it now so you can avoid that. Question for Connor, right here. Uh, you walked out, you posed for the crowd, you pulled, it seems like you pulled some of Dustin's hot sauce out and poured it and threw it at him. Why did you feel the need to pour out his hot sauce? It's garbage, don't have that garbage up on my bleeding stage. Where's the proper 12, the real sauce? The real Irish hot sauce? Dustin, it seems like you want to have something to say. I got a nice bottle of Red Breast 21 sitting at the uh, house after I whipped that ass. Good one. Another one for Connor. Uh, th this is really the first time you've been in the same room with Dustin since Fight Island. Has seeing him in person now after all the back and forth on social media? I, I think he looks rough, to be honest. I look like the way he was getting to him. And, you know, I can see it in his eyes. There's stress in his eyes. Lack of sleep. You can see it. It's coming for him on Saturday night, and he knows it night now, and I'm going to love doing it. Dustin, same question. Is finally seeing Connor in person after all the back and forth on social media, has it elicited any more emotions or is it still just business as usual? No, it's just business. I see a man here. I a see man a corpse. that needs to get crazy. I see a dead body. 